Now we're going to take a look at managing the engines that you've got installed on your computer using HiArt Chess Explorer. Well, there's two different uh, sides to this uh, configuration. The first one is going down to the Analysis Explorer here. You can see currently we've got HiArt 14 and Deep HiArt 14 installed, the World Computer Software Champion. And you can configure the current engine by clicking this here. This brings you a whole uh, brings up a window with a whole host of different options for configuring your HiArt 14 or whichever engine you had selected. You can see some of the options are greyed out. That's because you can't actually uh, change those ones. But any of the ones that aren't greyed out, you can change. And all you do is just click on it once, and then there's a drop-down menu you can change the setting. Now you'll notice. Uh, I'm just going to click down here. When I change that setting, um, you'll see that the the setting, the value, is now in bold as opposed to all the other ones. And that shows that you've changed that setting. If you make a lot of changes, you can just um, restore yourself back to the default settings by clicking here. Now, obviously, these options are all um, there for you to change, to play around with. But do just be aware that, generally speaking, computer chess programmers will set the default settings to what they consider to be the strongest settings. So if you do play around with these, you can uh, have some. There are some exciting settings you can play around with but it may well um, impair the strength of your computer chess engine. So when you're ready to go you can click OK on that one. The other part of the configuration you can do is by clicking here which is the Configure Hiax Chess Explorer and go to the Engines tab. Here you get a list of all the engines that are installed on your computer. You can change the hash table size that usually goes up in factors of two and that really depends on how much memory you have on your computer. Again, there's no right answer for how much you should set this to. Um, really enough so that it doesn't cause any adverse uh, disk activity is the best thing to do. So if you set it very high and you start playing and your disk um, starts ratcheting, making lots of noises, and the whole thing slows down, then perhaps you'll just want to lower that down. Bear in mind, it depends on how much memory you have on your computer. If you do have uh, Nalimov table bases, which are the end game table bases uh, installed on your computer. You can set the path to them here in the cache size. But as we've shown in a previous video, we can actually access all the table bases using the Hark's online server. So you don't you may never actually need to have any table bases installed on your computer. The final thing I'm going to show you is just how to add a new engine. Any UCI engine, that's Universal Chess Interface Engine, can be added to Hiax Chess Explorer. So I'm going to use an old version of Hiax, but as I say, you can do this with any engine. There are some free engines out there, or you can have lots of commercial engines. Uh, so just click on the Add button, then scroll to wherever, wherever you've downloaded. I've got an old uh, Hiax 13.2 UCI. It's not activated, so we won't be able to get the full power out of it, but just for now, just to show you the process, I'm going to click on the particular engine. UCI engines always end in .exe, so they look like executable files. That's the single processor and multiprocessor version, so I'm going to just pick one of those, click open. And as I say, it's currently unregistered, so uh, if, you get, if you can go and buy a registration code from Hiarx, it'll make it 400 plus ELO stronger and faster. But just to show you the process now, uh, it's actually just come up as not a valid engine, but of course it is. Uh, you can activate later and that will um, load the engine in there. So now when you click OK you'll be able to choose that from your list of engines like that. So there you go, that's just how easy and straightforward it is to manage your chess engines using Hiarx Chess Explorer.